Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back. Long welcome. time we, you didn't see us and long time we didn't see you too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we've been a bit busy. You know, I have to do, I have to work. You know, I have to make some money. I know it's also been busy. Today we're back with you right in the Gehenna Valley. And today we're gonna be walking that suspended bridge that was opened a month and a half ago and it costed about 20 million shekels. Wow. So it is a suspended bridge right over the Gehenna Valley. And you can see the Gehenna Valley, which is on the western side of the city of Jerusalem, which is the old city of Jerusalem. And of course it connects all the way to the Mount Zion mountain, which is on the western side. Now we're gonna go find the entrance to the bridge. Actually, it is not very hard to find the entrance, Taina. So no food or beverage on the bridge. <laughs> so it's not for picnic. Don't stop yeah. on the bridge and have a picnic. <laughs> That's what the minute. It's ah. actually oh. 206 meters. Yeah. You can see people, you know, trying to go from one side to the other. Shalom. 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 Shalom taking the water, the drainage, towards the Dead Sea. And we can see also Mount of Olives. You can see all these whitewashed graves that Jesus was talking about. You know, he was talking about the Pharisees and he was pointing at Mount of Olives and say, you are like a whitewashed graves. You are beautiful from the outside, but you are dead from the inside. Oh, and that was serious talk. Also, you know, this is the valley that is very famous, you know, this is where the word hell came from, from this valley. Because back in the days, in the time of the Jebusites, they used to worship their god, Muloch, which is on the shape of a bull and have a belly of a furnace. And they used to throw their firstborn in the belly of the beast and used to sacrifice their firstborn, you know, for a good fertile year. And from here came the word hell because there was fire and smoke coming out of this valley all the time and continued all the time until the Byzantine period where they also used to burn their garbage down in this valley. And we have a lot of tombs right in this valley, right down here. There is also Haklidima, which is the plot of land that was bought with the 30 pieces of silver that Judah you know after he regret betraying Christ he gave back to the high priest but they couldn't put it back in the temple treasury so they bought a plot of land for those who die on pilgrimage in Jerusalem right here which is right below us right here and they buried all these people with this within this plot so there was a lot of stories to talk about you know, in the valley of Gehenna. And you know, it's not easy while well, you are actually walking the suspended bridge. And you know, the wind yeah, is shaking moving. you, you know, <laughs> it's moving all the way. Oh, it's bouncing back. But it is amazing. I think it's an experience to do while you are in Jerusalem. And I mean, yes. it is very close to the old city and have an access to the old city. You can continue up to Mount Zion. And right below us too, you can see there's the national park where they grow many kinds of vegetables. Imagine it used to be a place where people burned people alive. But here you can see that there is this beautiful oasis in the middle of Jerusalem where they are planting almost everything. Even they have small, you know, uh, pins for donkeys, sheep, goats, where kids can go down and caress them. There's camels also down. You can see the camels. There's two camels right there. 
so I think it's a Hopefully beautiful place. Nice. Yeah, if you come with kids, that will be very nice, you know, if they like to pet the animals. Huh? And you can see some of the tombs that is huge right over there in the rock and down here. So from an area which is dead to a place which is full of life. People doesn't know about it yet. Look down here. See that's the road going down to Silwan. And right over there is the Mount Zion Hotel. These buildings right over there. Nice wind, huh? Yeah. I have to hold my hat. Yeah. Okay guys, now we are reaching the end of the bridge. Ah, that was nice experience. You see guys, everything is not ready. They are still building the staircase. Ah, oh, this it's open and we can enter. Yeah, it's called a valley farm and it's amazing. They grow almost everything. Look, there's tomatoes, peppers, eggplants which is an amazing thing even lemon oh, grass oh there's a waterfall look there's a nice waterfall i think it is a beautiful wow, spring that's really still nice. gushing from the rock and look the willow the beautiful willow trees oh nice sitting nice area place. yeah wow this is just that's beautiful. beautiful under a carrot tree and this is a carrot tree. That's beautiful. And also look at the... They made also like a Bedouin setting where you can sit on the floor. What? And there amazing. is Owen. Yeah, it's all under this beautiful carrots. And look, the pomegranates. These are pomegranates. Look, there is some here. That's amazing. If you never saw pomegranate tree, that's pomegranate. Wow. But oh. it's still raw. Just imagine, you know, from a place that connects to death and hell into this beautiful paradise. I love the shape. I really don't know the name, it is not indigenous, but it is water plant. Ooh. That's beautiful. How do you want on This is Judas tree. Because actually in springtime it will have this beautiful red flowers which is people say you know depicting the blood of judah so they call it the judah tree and this is what many stories say that this is the tree that judah hung himself in. they are making wine here <laughs> i see a wine press and i see even wine being actually fermenting right in that cave you see uh -huh. I, I see the crusher and this is where they squeeze so they the are doing that uh, here because of the coolness of yes the... of the cave yeah. And look, they are fermenting. It's already fermenting. There is wine. There's yeah. grapes right there. I have to tell you guys. In the morning when we left from home, we didn't know where we're gonna go. We just thought that... Let's see. Yeah, and we found something. Wow. Threshing floor, you know, from the... Back in the days. You know, about the 18th century. And this is the way that actually they would bring the wheat and they put it in bundles right on the ground here. And then they bring this flock of wood with stones on it. And then, of course, a donkey would drag it over the bundles of wheat, which actually separate the wheat from the, from the hay. Here you can make your own pottery. Imagine, well, we have a little boy. That's an ingenious, you know, way. <laughs> Action to make your pot. You see the bridge is above us now. Beautiful animals. Yes. Good, good. Don't eat my camera, please. He doesn't want to eat your camera. Yeah. He just wants some hay. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Good boy. For those who love camels, I think they actually can have a camel ride. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Hello. Hello, camels. Are you a couple? I name you. Are you gonna come and kiss me? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Don't spit on me, please. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> he's walking. No, he's a thing. I think he's a good guy. And what are you, are you thinking? Are you Hello. Oh, it was also a nice walk. But thanks, guys, for being with us today. Fadi has also something to say. I see he's waving me there. There's more videos coming, so stay tuned. We love you all. Bye.